Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tries Future Grind. Future Grind uh, came out uh, much earlier this year, but showed up, as you might expect, during the Steam Winter Sale in the Steam Labs Recommender. Uh, and it, it ticked a lot of boxes for me. First off, it was 80% off. That's a good box. That's a, that's a good one to tick. So this cost me three Canadian dollars. Less than the price of a cup of coffee. Which is always, people always say, for less than the price of a cup of coffee, and it, it ticks that box as well. It's also, uh, I didn't realize this until I'd played a little bit, uh, I played maybe half an hour so far. Um, but, uh, it's from a developer I'm actually familiar with, Milkbag Studios. Which, now that I say, they must be Canadian. Because that's how we package our milk up here. Um, they made side words, which I did a let's look at of a few years ago. Um, it was kind of like a word-based puzzle game. Kind of similar to Boggle, I think. I don't know, but it's been a long time. Played a lot of games since then. Future Grind, on the other hand, is a game that, to me... We'll just play, like, a super easy level here right off the bat. Um, to me, feels a lot like uh, an indie game from, like, 2012, 2013. And I mean that, to be honest, in the best way possible. I am going to lower my own volume a little bit. If you want the, the spiel... And I'm also going to move myself down, because I think there's some relevant stuff in the top right, by the way. Um, if you want the, the easy spiel for the game, it's pretty simple. I would think of it almost like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater meets Ollie Ollie, which is, a, you know, an indie uh, skateboarding game, meets, like, Ikaruga. You're probably going to say, I don't understand the Ikaruga thing at all. That's because we're still in the early game here. If we start on... Uh, if we start on this one, you will see some, some Ikaruga stuff. Well, I, mean, I don't really want to be on the practice track, but sure. If you want me to be on the practice track, let's work it out. So essentially, you're driving this cool bicycle. Motorcycle, I guess. And it has uh, two different wheels. It's got a pink wheel, and it's got a blue wheel. If the blue touches the pink, you die. If the pink touches the blue, you die. If they both touch, you die. What you want to try to do is get to the end of the course um, without dying. That's a big one. While doing a various uh, variety, I should say, of different types of grinds, like the ones you're seeing right here. You got your hand grind. You got your under grind. You got your uh, I messed up the grind, so I'm dead grind. Your secondary objectives usually, at least so far, seem to revolve around um, getting a certain score. And the way you get that score is, you know, you can see I'm building combos here. By introducing a variety of tricks... Oh my god, we almost made that one. Um, you can get a higher combo score. The white rails are there um, in order to... I should do some score attack here. The white rails are there in order to give you a safe rail. But they do not, uh, they actually kill your combo. So, you know, if we got a good combo going, but we feel scared, we, uh, touch the white rail, and, you know, it's a trade-off. You also have a double jump, and you got a little bit of jetpack juice as well. So you can, you know, travel a greater distance if you want to. Alright, so the whole point is to try to, like, maximize your score. The way you do that, try to mix up your grinds. Try to touch as many rails as possible. Try not to fall into the abyss. When I say it, it, it feels like a, an indie game from, you know, 2013. I hope again... I ruined my combo. I hope again it didn't come across in an insulting way, because I think, you know, I look back on that era of indie games with a lot of uh, positivity. You know, it felt like a time... Let me... You, you know what a better way to describe this is? As I uh, am going to lower the volume again somewhat. <laughs> a better way to describe that is that... Um, yeah, let's take that down to like 70 and 70. There we go. A better way to describe it, I think, is that this feels like the kind of game um, that could have easily showed up on the on the PS Vita. You know, it's a different era for games where you could have a small indie game that could reach, you know, some level of, uh, I don't want to say success necessarily, but, you know, accessibility maybe. Feels reminiscent of a, maybe not a bygone era, but an era that doesn't exist in the same context anymore. And uh, very reminiscent of, of Ali Ali in particular, and Ali Ali 2, which, you know, as you might expect, has nothing to do with the original game whatsoever. Uh, and uh, these are the kind of games that, you know, I actually quite like. Games where you can get into kind of a, uh, a zen state, 
You know, you get a little bit of a rhythm going. And it has that kind of trials aspect too, where you're like, you know, I could live with myself just trying to get to the end. Like if that's the kind of compromising gamer you want to be, then by all means, don't let me stop you. But the real fun, as I see it, is in trying to put together the best possible combo that you can. It also reminds me a lot of Action Hank. I know at this point we're just hitting caricature levels of, of naming every indie game I've ever played in my entire life, but it reminds me a lot of Action Hank, which was basically Trials, but you run as a as a man with a beer gut. You know, you, you, you try to, you learn it a little bit, you piece it together, and then eventually you get a decent run. We need 45,000 points in order to set a new high score. I don't see that happening. Well, in order to get a gold medal, I should say. I don't see that happening. But you're witnessing the growth of a new extreme sports gamer right here. I will play some of the harder levels as time goes on. Well, where I struggle with a lot is trying to mix up the, the grind types without getting myself killed. Because you can start with this little regular grind. Then flip it around. Dude died in a hang grinding accident. What an idiot. Switch to an undergrind. Or that's a hang grind. Then you got an undergrind. Then you got a hang grind. The, the push grind is the really tough one. That's where you have... Um... Hold on. It, we had it going. That's where you do like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're using your jetpack to grind with the proper wheel on the underside of the rail. It's actually not that hard now that I think about it. But having thought about how to explain it, it felt hard. So you can also amp up your multiplier by doing like flips and stuff like that. I should probably stop because I'm embarrassing myself. We're gonna work on this. I don't need to get a gold medal. I'll settle. Yikes. Uh, okay, that almost worked. I'll settle for just getting a score, you know, close to our previous score. So I'm just trying to see, because for me, it's like, if we just jump, we go from 1 to 2.5x. If we jump and switch grind, we do go from 1 to 2.5x, but we're getting times 2 score, I think because it's a new trick. Okay, so yeah, you definitely want to switch it up as much as possible. All right, let, let's try to put together a good run here. So you're going to start. We're learning the rhythm. You do that. You didn't get a times two on that. Maybe it's only the first time you do a new trick, or maybe you got to mix up a few more in between. Good enough. Not good enough. So we're going to go regular grind, push grind, and then we're going to try to get a hang grind in there. I recognize, by the way, this is probably frustrating to watch. It's not frustrating to play. I feel like I look like a battle droid from the, whoops, from uh, Star Wars Episode One. But let's not open that can of worms right now. Very nice. I thought maybe we could just thread the needle, but we can't. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. Great stuff. Just drop it. Stay low. Kind of screwed that up. Stay low. Very nice. Regular grind. Do some flips. Where'd we finish there? 33,000. We did all that for an extra 10%. So the next step would be to put some flips in it. You know, like in Portlandia, they put a bird on it. We're going to do that, but we're going to put some flips on it instead. You know, you might not... I, I've mentioned this many times in the past. People do not believe me because... And I understand why. Because I tend to be not so good at games. However, there was a time, believe it or not, where I was okay at games. Mostly because I had a lot more free time. And I have a decent history with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. You go to the skate park level, I forget what it's called. You go to the half pipe ramp while NWA's Express Yourself plays. And you think to yourself as a 14-year-old kid living in suburban Canada, finally, rap music without all the swearing. <laughs> a nice, wholesome rap group, NWA. And what, what do you do? 900, revert. 
900, revert. 900, you start to slow down, revert manual. Following that, yo, we should have believed in ourselves we were doing better there. Um, then you go a little slower, you start doing grinds with kickflips. Grinds, kickflip, grind, pop, shove it. You get that combo multiplier up there. Then eventually, the song changes to ACDC's TNT. You got no speed left, you start busting out the flat limb tricks. See, this is going okay. That's where you don't want to do what you did there, because you screwed it up. That's acceptable. Okay. He's learning. He's learning how to live with it. Anyway, the point is, I kind of understand the scoring system of the game. So it might look like I'm doing bad right now, but hey, you know, it reminds me of an expression that is, uh, I always think about it when I'm doing badly at stuff. The expression is, why you have to be mad, it is only game. It's uh, an NHL goalie uh, quote from Ilya Brizgalov. Always think about that. It's getting asked by uh, sports media personalities. Hey, why'd you play badly? And he's like, why you have to be mad? It is only game. And you know, it's an astute quote. But on top of that, what I was originally going to say is actually perhaps a more astute and appropriate quote, which is, the master has failed more than the beginner has ever tried. So yeah, we might be screwing it up right now. But screwing things up is a necessary component to doing them better, I went for one extra flip there. The master should not be so greedy. How about this? How about this? Yo! He's actually... Whatever, dude. That's still a pretty good score by my standard. <laughs> we'll move along. We'll move along. Okay. Leave track. What did I tell you, Ruka? The master has failed more than the beginner has ever tried. Anyway, there is like a story that goes on in the game as well. You're like a future grind athlete. You're working your way up the ranks. You get introduced to new sponsors and stuff like that with these messages that look like uh, advertisements for websites you don't want to visit unless you're incognito mode. Or in incognito mode, I should say. Let's go. We, uh, we don't worry about the story too much. What we worry about instead is... Surviving. So this one... What's going on with that? Both of our wheels became yellow mid-game. Okay. You know, this is why I like the, the Northern Lion Tries series. Because we learn things on the fly. You can spend a little bit too much time... ...being analytical. In your more traditional, let's look at sort of series. No, don't lose the combo, brother. In this one, we got a genuine sense of discovery. Both discovery of the game and discovery of ourselves as time goes on. So once you beat a level, usually you get new objectives for it. So this time we have uh, do a 720 backflip, which is probably one of the easiest objectives I could possibly imagine. Uh, but we did die in the process, so maybe I'm the fool. Yeah, okay, so maybe you don't want to just spin aimlessly. On the other hand, all try spinning, that's a cool trick. Reminds me of another quote. <laughs> How about that? Okay, we're going purple. Also, I have... Those are front flips, dummy! I have no idea what our next objective is. It was like, do two dual transfers. I don't know what a dual transfer is, but it sounds like something that you have to declare to the IRS after you do it. We'll see. Oh, just do two transfers. Okay, easy enough. On the bunny hill. So we're still very early in the game. And I'll tell you, you know, I always, uh, try to... Is that not a transfer? What's a, oh, you know what a transfer is? I bet it's when you switch grind type. Perhaps not. I mean, we were doing them before. Oh, change wheel. But I always look at the, the Steam reviews. 
for something, uh, you know, after I've played a little bit or before I play it at all, is definitely seems like the kind of game that uh, it maybe doesn't have a super amount of mass appeal, but on the other hand, the people who love it, like, oftentimes can get uh, very engrossed in it. Let's put it that way. There were people that, uh, like, one dude had 400 hours in the game, which is just staggering to me. And again, I have 400 hours in a, an indie card game, so, you know, an indie motorcycle game. It's not those in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. It's more like those in glass houses wave at your neighbors in the other glass houses. Maybe invite them over for dinner sometime. So we did it. I still don't really know how we did it. Avalanche. The boss wants to see what you can do on our track at Ralhorn. I'm hearing there are other sponsors, sponsors interested in you too. Don't forget us at Left Coast when you're famous. Alrighty. Look for gaps where you can fit in a big flip to increase your score. What did I tell you? I was mocked for attempting to increase my score via big flips. Well, who's laughing now? Okay, we screwed that one. But you can see, like, there's a real, uh, you know, sense of, sense of thrill and a sense of learning as well that comes from the game. You're, you're choosing your own path. And there's, a, there's an element of memorization and an element of improvisation. And both of those, I think, are, you know, what games like this need in order to maintain that sort of like, you know, one more run, addictive sort of quality. Like, if you think about, whenever I think about games like this, my number one example is, and it's not quite the same because it's not a, it's not nearly as score attacky, but I think like Trials Evolution, probably the best, uh, like, pseudo-indie extreme sports game I've ever played. Um, I think that's what really makes these games tick, is the idea- Oh! Illegal system access detected. Build a 12x multiplier? No problem. Um, it's the idea that, yeah, you memorize the course, but just memorizing it doesn't necessarily, like, give you that much of, uh, that it doesn't give you a guarantee that you're going to succeed. You still have to execute stuff on the fly. And sometimes, especially after a little bit of practice, you accomplish something that makes you go, yo, how did I do that? Yep. No, we were actually closing in on it. Where are we at? Six times multiplier already? We have no problem. So yeah, the only... Uh, it's not really a, a complaint, to be honest, but... The only thing I will say is, uh, I think the game is, is good, but maybe, uh, I don't want to say unambitious, because that's not really what I'm going for. Uh, but like the story mode in particular, it's just kind of a veneer, you know? It's like a means to an end. Apart from that, I think that it, it probably does, uh, have a little bit of a, a dearth of mass appeal, which is also totally fine, and it's kind of, you know, like one of the reasons a series like this can exist. Check out new stuff that might not be everybody's cup of tea. But hey, ever since Hello Games pivoted to No Man's Sky, nobody's making Joe Dangers anymore. So I appreciate that this one exists. We were so close. Can I just get a rewind button, please? One of these days, we're going to get it. All I'm going to say in my own defense, if anything even has to be said in my own defense, it's the kind of game where, you know, a little bit of radio silence goes a long way. You know what I mean? Yeah, don't try to don't try to thread the needle on that one, dude. What I'm basically saying is, you think it's so easy, why don't you pick it up for yourself and prove it? Nobody appreciates how hard the YouTuber's job is. To talk and play video games simultaneously? It's a task that even Earth's Mightiest have challenges with from time to time. How do you like that move right there? We screwed it up. Okay, but how did you like that move right there? Like this grind, I sleep. That grind, I wake up, get out of bed, drag a comb across my head. It's called the Beatles, sweetheart. And look, the muscle memory's already getting there. You're doing great, sweetheart! 
Okay, and now this is the part where you before you can get good, you have to get bad again. And I'm doing a, a pretty bang up job of, of showcasing that natural gameplay evolution. But it's always a good sign when, you know, we could have stopped the video before. But instead, I'm like, come on, at least let me get one more run out there to prove that occasionally I'm not as bad as it seems like I am. It means that the addictive nature of the game, that one more runism, is on display. Okay, we screwed that routine up a little bit there. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You screwed it up again. This is... We should be embarrassed, and to be honest, I am embarrassed. Why not just start small? Like that right there. That right there. Look at that. That's beautiful point gameplay. We did, unfortunately, touch the white rail. Which sounds like a euphemism for some kind of illicit narcotic use, but in this case, it's just the... Just the lingo of the game. So close to greatness. Good. Good. Perfect. Couple of flips. Really crank up that multiplier. I am bad, and I apologize. Not to you, because I hope you're entertained. I apologize to the devs. Because you're going to see an influx of people being like... When I saw Northern Lion play your game, I had to go check it out for myself to see if it's actually hard or if he's just bad. And it turns out, and I've, I've had, I've had an equal amount of both up here in, in my long and not very illustrious career. Good freaking work. So much better. How's that for a freaking 12x multiplier for you? No! All right. Don't talk to me about getting a 12x multiplier. Sometimes it's just that easy. Okay, so we have to grind, hang grind two rails. Okay, wow. You still think I'm bad? Yes? Okay, well, I wasn't asking you. I was asking the people who were gonna say no. In case that's not clear. Ah, so close. Anyway, the hang grind, grind is easy. Then you can just run your sets, as Dan would say. You give him one of these. One of these. One of these. Then you go back to your normal routine. Look at that. Okay, now, just survive. You get your objective done. Finish the video, grab some lunch, be in time for GeoGuessr. Yeah, and all... Okay, that screwed that one up a little. Dust the cobwebs off of the old cheekbones. Uh, in all honesty, this is... Uh, this is the kind of game that this series was made for, you know? No! Harkens back to a point in time where... I didn't need the Steam Labs recommender in order to find a game like this. I don't know where I'm going with that bit. Felt like maybe there, I was going in a direction I didn't want to go, so I apologize. There's no need to play an extreme sports independent video game. And then try to make it something about how, you know, the Steam Marketplace has too many games. That's not where I'm intending to go with that. So I apologize. It just brings me back to a, to a simpler time when the PlayStation Vita still had games. <laughs> but I guess now, this is the sort of thing. I don't actually know if this is on Switch. Maybe the Switch has filled that role now. No, dude, but it doesn't matter. But my brain says it matters. Okay, you're fine. You're fine. Just finish it up. Well, anyway, this has been Future Grind. I think it's a pretty good time. It's also... Uh, 80% off during the Steam sale, which is, you know, just absurd. It's a very cheap price. Um, pretty fun. I'll put a link in the video description below to go check out the uh, Steam store page if you're interested. For now, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. See ya!